So I wanted to present some different ideas perhaps around uh, small backpacking size shovels. So this isn't to address the large, you know, you fold out, dig a trench kind of a shovel with a pick on the back. Uh, this is just, you know, carry in your pocket. Um, if you have to dispose of some waste or if you want to try to dig a Dakota fire pit, uh, what are some solutions that are out there? And this isn't comprehensive. There's a lot of other options out there. But this is just to spark some creativity and some thought towards a couple different alternatives borrowed from the gardening world that might be used by the backpacking community. Um, as opposed to what some other people are using. So uh, starting here on the left, this is a Fiskars shovel. This is like a hard nylon plastic. And I had initially got this for just disposing of waste and popped off the back end cap. And the hope there was I could take my, um, my toilet paper, and I was able to, and fold it up real small and stick it in the handle. And then whenever you have to go use the restroom out there, you just... Just grab this and that's everything you need. And it's got your toilet paper on the inside. Surprisingly, it doesn't fit a whole lot of toilet paper on the inside. Um, definitely the lightest solution. Throwing it on the scale, we have 85 grams or three ounces on the money. But it doesn't require a sheath, which is nice. And it's fairly simple. I saw in the gardening world, uh, there was a product called a Hori Hori. And I decided uh, to go the cheap route and get the Zen port, which is the $9 version, not the $20 or $30 version. And uh, I regretted doing that, and in the end I went and bought the real thing. But let me give you a look at, uh, at what this is and why I chose it. This is a uh, gardening tool made for you know, planting bulbs and, and digging up certain things and, and cutting out weeds. Uh, what it is is a pretty ergonomic handle, which is the reason I chose it, and it's plastic over the actual Hori Hori, which is a wooden handle. And the metal, I don't know metal, some of you guys out there know metal, but you know what compressed board is to wood? It, it feels like that to metal. It feels like a lot of different pieces of shard metal and metal chunks put together to make this steel. It doesn't feel... Um, you know, it's a stainless steel K245. So. I don't know what that means, but what I do know is that when you look at the symmetry of the grind, you're looking at a, a $7 product. Um, in terms of the edge that it came with, there's none. Let me give you a nice, nice good view of that. I mean, there is, there is no edge. I can squeeze this thing all I want, and it's not hard at all, um, or it won't cut me at all. So, you know, very unimpressed uh, by the, the sharpness of all this. Um, you know, I don't think this saw is going to cut through anything. I'm not looking for this to cut through anything. Gardeners use this uh, sometimes when they're digging to be able to cut through a root if they've got to get something down there. So, uh, saw it, didn't really like it, and went ahead and bought the real thing. This is uh, called the Hori Hori, which means dig, dig. And you're looking at something that's just a much better build quality than what these import had. Um, definitely a great edge on it. Uh, this is what they used to be able to say, all right, I want like my bulb so many inches down. Um, helps gardeners be able to plant. I'd be using this primarily for, you know, digging out a Dakota fire pit. That's something that I haven't tried, but have a lot of interest in. And, you know, I think my issues around um, why I'm even looking for something else other than the Fiskars is I found myself just not using it. Uh, it's just, it just, for whatever reason, it just doesn't penetrate that well. Um, I know it's nice, hard plastic, but it just doesn't get down there. A couple different um, obvious pluses and minuses. This has just got a nice big scoop, so you're going to be able to move a lot of things out there. I find I'm not really solving for that. I'm solving just penetrating hard ground, and this seems to, to really be that solution. I mean, essentially, it's a knife with this, this, this beautiful bevel to it, which would help you scoop things out. Um, speaking of that bevel, comparatively with that Hori Hori in the generic Zen port, um, they're about on par. What you see with this, I don't know if you can see in the camera, it almost looks like it slopes upwards, uh, which seems that it would make it real difficult um, to be able to dig in into the ground. So I don't know if I can show you that sideways. There it goes. You can see how it kind of slopes upwards, whereas this just looks like it's going to sink into the ground. Uh, a couple things on the actual Hori Horries. There's a couple different companies out there that make it. Uh, there's a model out there. Let me get you nice and close so you can see this. 
where the the blade the sawing side blade stops right about here it just doesn't seem to be that that good of a build quality um, I opted for the one where it extends all the way up it just looks like a better quality steel and again I'm not a steel guy um, in terms of the tang this one stops short this isn't meant to be a survival knife at all uh, this would just be in your pack simply as a solution for digging and um, doing something like Dakota fire pits or, or building something. Um, I'd imagine if I were to put a magnet up to this, I'd get something similar in terms of the tang length. So we're at three ounces. We're at three ounces on the Fiskers. Right here we're at eight ounces, so by no means light, and this is slightly heavier at eight and a half ounce. In terms of the sheaths that they come with, the actual Hori Hori comes with a heavier sheath where I prefer these import piece of cardboard because it's lighter and that's something that I care about. Um, if you're carrying this on your hip, which I would not be, uh, you know, it's got a little belt, a little cheap belt loop on there. Uh, the weights of these are one eighth ounce and this is very heavy. That's almost two ounces. That's one and seven eighths ounce. So um, you're looking at probably this combination um, obviously not this exact just taking a piece of cardboard and sticking it over the hori hori for uh, the lightest weight uh, all steel design or steel design uh, you know just a couple thoughts on the handles uh, last thoughts is I'd initially gone for the Zenport handle because I like the way that it uh, it flared out just in terms of if I'm stabbing at hard dirt or trying to get through things I didn't want to slip up on the blade um, great theory I think in reality, I really like how uh, how grippy this is. It's just a little bit longer as well. And um, I don't see myself at all slipping on this thing. It does taper slightly. So a couple different options out there. Hopefully the idea again is just around to spur some thought. Um, you know, this REI and other backpacking stores carry this and some of the folding versions. And uh, I wanted to see what other areas uh, we could borrow from uh, for digging Dakota fire pits and doing other things we do out there.